welcome everyone. Thanks for being here with me tonight. Tonight we're doing some deep healing with Reiki and 528 Hertz. Hey Kimmy, welcome back. Hope you had a great day today. Hope you all had a great day today. And 528 Hertz is one of the ancient solfeggio frequencies. It's really good for rebuilding, repairing DNA, healing cells. It's really great for raising our energy. It's great for creativity, personal transformation. It ties into the solar plexus chakra. That's often called the love frequency or the miracle tone because it kind of fosters this togetherness. said to impart very powerful healing benefits to those who listen to it, absorb the frequency. Hey cat, thanks for the rose. We're working with 528 Hertz tonight, which is the music you can hear in the background. We're bringing out a tuning fork soon. But as I was saying, this is a very transformative frequency it helps raise cell energy it helps repair cells and DNA as well as cultivate love enhance our connection to all things I love it when I hit the thing <laughs> the forks are fire I'm glad you like them Pancake Waffles, thank you so much for subbing. Wow, I really, really appreciate you. Thank you so much. Just so everyone knows, tonight is one of our sub-only chat nights. We have them every Tuesday and Thursday. It's just something really extra special for those subscribers out there. And now we've got 40, 40 of you. That's so, so incredible. Thank you so much. Hello, girl and her dogs. Welcome. How are the dogs doing? Dogs enjoyed a sunny day at the park. It's wonderful. Bree Tiger Lily, thank you so much for subscribing. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm so very grateful and appreciative. You helped us hit our sub goal. You guys are so incredible and wonderful. Thank you so much. I did just hit it. Thanks to you wonderful people. You guys are so amazing. Thank you. Hey, Jen. <laughs> Welcome back. Yep, it's a sub-only chat night tonight. Last night we had a lot, a lot of messages coming through from people. Some trolling, some curious questioning, a lot of good vibes out there, but it does get very chaotic. So it's kind of nice to have these little sub chat only nights. Thanks for the chill girl and her dogs. I appreciate you. Bring out that tuning fork now. 528 hertz. Give a listen. Breathe this frequency in. 
does connect with our solar plexus. And as I said, it's really great for cellular regeneration, DNA healing. It's great for raising our cell energy. It's helping us feel more inspired, get more creative, and it's great for personal transformation. Hey, Gianna, thanks for coming through. I am doing well. I hope you're doing well, too. I want to try red light therapy. I haven't had a chance yet. So just breathe this frequency in. Feel it soak into your cells. Feel your cells and your body resonating along with 528 hertz. So maybe gargling with a salt water solution could help. Maybe some hot tea. Thank you, Miss Tracy Ann, for the roses. And Gianna, thank you for the roses. I appreciate you all very much. And an extra special welcome to all the new followers tonight. Thank you so much for joining us in this beautiful sacred healing space. And if you're new here, my name is Matt. I'm a Reiki master here on TikTok. So you might have guessed that already. Supernova mummy, thanks for the two roses. I appreciate you. Yeah, I've been on TikTok now for almost a year. Offering Reiki healing. It's been a very fun journey so far. It's very cool. Lots of really amazing people. Huge spiritual community on TikTok. Thank you, Supernova Mummy, for the rose. And if you guys are really vibing tonight, really enjoying the Reiki healing and the energy, please check out my YouTube channel. It's called Spirit Pond. And the link is in my bio. The Lady Creates Shop, thank you so much for the roses. Much love to you. It's nice to see you again. And if you guys do subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'll be having a special Reiki Healing live stream over there tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern. So Fridays, I'm not here on TikTok, but I'm over on YouTube live streaming. If you guys want to catch me over there. I also have a new video going up tomorrow <clears throat> that's going to premiere. That's all about sending Reiki to our goals and manifestations. And it's a fun little interactive one that we can write down some goals together and send Reiki to them to help them manifest that much faster. Sincerely, thank you all for being here. It's really, really awesome. That we could come on platforms like this, like TikTok, and have 400 people just connecting over the internet. It's really incredible, you know. 
it's like uh, it's like 400 of us packing an amphitheater sharing some Reiki healing I think it's just the most wonderful thing so thank you all are incredible. Julie, welcome. You're not late. Not at all. You see, Reiki works outside of time. So, you're already receiving the healing before you walked in. I know that's a wild concept. I actually wrote a YouTube post about this today. About how Reiki is just this wonderful, divinely loving energy. And how because it's from such a high spiritual place, and since it originates from Source how it easily flows through space and time without any boundaries, without any restrictions, because we are all already connected. So Reiki doesn't really have any hangups traveling through the past or future. You can watch Reiki videos and still receive the healing months or years after the videos were filmed. Pretty cool stuff. Thank you so much for all the follows, guys. I really, really appreciate you all. That is fantastic to hear. It makes me very happy. Because that is one of the reasons why I want to share this gift of Reiki with as many people as possible. It's because when I discovered its effects at relaxing, calming the mind and the energy of the body, and just kind of filling me with this sense of love and peace as well as healing, healing physical ailments. It was like, wow, you know, everyone should experience this because it is so wonderfully transformative. So I really love being on here and offering the sacred healing space, even if for only an hour a day, that we can all come together and share in this wonderful healing. I appreciate you saying that, Sun Cumber. I haven't been in a lot of other Reiki lives. I've been in a few. There was someone that was really cool. I think her, her name is Reiki Fairy. You guys should go check her out, but she's, she's very inspiring. There's a few others that I can't think of off the top of my head that I've been to. Gianna, I appreciate you, but I do encourage you, Gianna, and everybody else to practice grounding, especially if you're feeling chaotic in your life or after the uh, conclusion of a long day, to just take some time at the end of your day to ground, ground that extra energy, because you do 
pick up attachments, energy, emotions that aren't yours, that you aren't meant to walk around with. And it can definitely lead you to feeling off balance or lethargic or chaotic or a number of other emotions you may not need to even experience. So just take some time at the conclusion of every day to ground that excess energy so it doesn't leave you feeling overwhelmed or off balance. Yeah, Reiki Fairy is really cool, little Genry. Healing and Beyond, I have not visited yet. But I'm very happy to check out any recommendations you guys might have. And especially that technique if you're taking a shower or a bath to mindfully release any energy that you're holding on to let it flow down the drain set that intention while the water flows over you that I release all energies attachments emotions that are no longer serving me I let them flow down the drain and visualize them just leave in your body Flowing down that drain. He looks similar, and he's from Australia. That's really cool. I have to check him out and introduce myself. I do love meeting other Reiki practitioners that are here on TikTok. You'll be in the shower for an hour or more, maybe weeks. That's okay. There's a lot of different grounding techniques you can use. That mindful shower or bath is one. Simply setting the intention and feeling that energy sink into the earth is another. You can ground by journaling. You can ground by dancing. You can ground by walking barefoot in the grass. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Thank you. All right, I'm bringing out the tuning fork again. The 528 hertz. Just breathe that frequency in with me. We're feeling it soak into our cells. cells and our tissues and our organs resonate along with this frequency. believe that little children are way more in touch with the spiritual and the metaphysical 
than we are as adults. As we start off that way and we receive a lot of cultural and societal programming, it tends to dull those spiritual senses. And of course we can practice and reopen them, but I feel like children have like a unique heightened awareness. They're extra sensitive to that sort of thing. Astral Angel. Oh no, it's Thursday. We have the Reiki on YouTube tomorrow night. So, once more everyone, if you guys are really feeling the love in here, please check me out on my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio and it's called Spirit Pond. I'm uploading new Reiki healing videos there every week, as well as doing a weekly Reiki, Reiki healing live stream on Friday nights. I have a video that's posted for tomorrow that's all about sending Reiki energy to our goals and our manifestations. So yeah, check it out sometime. Oh, you wish it were Friday. I understand that. The real goal is to find your peace and know that you are complete and have everything you need in every single moment, whether it be Friday or Thursday or Monday. It's certainly a challenge for all of us. Thank you, Sun Cumber. You know, the video that I'm posting tomorrow on Spirit Pond is all about sending Reiki energy to our goals and our manifestations. So for that one, I'll encourage you guys to write down some things that you're manifesting. So we're going to send Reiki specifically to them tomorrow, as well as use them as affirmations. frequency is just as energizing as it is soothing. There's just something about it. It's a frequency that really helps me lean into our divine connection with all things and just feel completely at home wherever I am, wherever I listen to it, you know. Very beautiful frequency that 528 hertz. Take a little selenite now. And just do a few gentle sweeps with the selenite. So if there's any energy that's getting stirred up, just release it. Ever so gently, release it. Selenite helping us sweep and push it away. Gently releasing all that stuck energy, all that stagnant energy, anything we can let go of, just gently releasing, letting our selenite sweep it away. We send these energies into the earth. Let them be transmuted back into love, alchemized to higher frequencies.
you for everyone who's followed me tonight. You guys are so wonderful. Just gotta say, I appreciate you all so much. Because if you followed me tonight, it kind of tells me that you are committed to your own healing, your own growth, your self-improvement, increasing your awareness, healing your body, your soul. And I think it takes a lot of courage to take steps on that journey because it's difficult, certainly the most worthwhile journey in our lives, that journey of healing, self-discovery, returning to our higher self, connecting back to source. There's a lot of programming to undo and a lot of trauma to unpack and heal and release. I think the fact that you guys are here and have the courage to walk that path, well, I really appreciate you. Thank you for being here with me tonight. Truly, this Reiki will go wherever it needs to go for our collective highest good. Thank you, Dorian, for the ice cream. Appreciate you. Jules, thank you so much for subscribing to me. Wow. Thank you very much. I appreciate you. That is so, so kind of you. Thank you. Much love. Tiny Diny. Jules, I appreciate you. Thank you. I don't know how to say your name. If it's showing as user or something. Anna. Okay. Thank you for the finger heart, Anna. And Tammy, thank you for the rose. You guys are very kind. Thank you for the rose very much. This time I'm going to bring out a little black tourmaline. This has become one of my favorite stones lately for its wonderful properties of absorbing soaking in and grounding disharmony type energies like anger, fear, anxieties. We love Kurt. Thank you so much for the roses. Much love. Thank you, Julie. I appreciate you so much. Thank you for saying that. So we're just going to channel some Reiki energy through our black tourmaline. Let it do its job of soaking up any anxiety, any anger, any fears, any worries, anything that's lingering in our energy that we can just let go of. Let that black tourmaline just soak it up and ground it. 
We love Kurt. Thank you for the pizza. And Anna, thank you for the rose. You guys are wonderful. Casey, Casey, Marie, thank you for the flowers. Thank you, girl and her dogs. I appreciate you. We love Kurt. Thank you for the roses. Little Jenly, thank you for the roses. You guys are so kind. Thank you so much. Sometimes my hair gets stuck in my rings. <laughs> Pancake Waffle, with your affirmation lately, everything will work out for my family and I. The universe is working for us. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Everything is already working out for you. In the present tense. Ooh, that's interesting. We had a piece of our black tourmaline chip off. That's very, very cool. That means it's working. Realm 1117, I hope I said that right. Thank you so much for subscribing to me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you so, so much. That is so kind. Thank you. Michelle, thank you for the tiny diny and Dorian. Thank you for the finger heart. I smell your anxiety. Yeah, usually when crystals chip or pieces like break away or we lose them, usually means that they've served served their purpose. So if crystals, pieces of crystals, especially one like a black tourmaline, would chip off. That means that it's definitely putting in its work and it's soaking up all those negative vibes. so much <laughs> it's just it's putting in the work absolutely I appreciate you Julie <laughs> Kat you had a tingly feeling high in your chest right before you said that like okay take it <laughs> That's right, if you can let it go, just let it go. Let it be released. Some things I understand that you might not be able to let go at this time, and that's okay. It might require a little bit further processing or a little bit more diving deep or going inward. But if you can let it go, let it go. High key, a very beautiful moment. <laughs> Thank you, Pancake Waffles. Elmer, thank you for the finger heart. Much love to you. Early on in my healing journey, I had this piece of black kyanite. Black kyanite is this one right here. It was a much smaller piece, but like I said, it was early on in my healing journey. I had a lot of stuff to process and heal from and let go of. Thank you, Zombie Mom, for the rose. Hey, Britt Nicole, glad you're here. Never too late, always at the right time. So I was early on in my healing journey. I had this black eye and I, and pretty much whenever I would use it, meditation or Reiki on myself, it would just like split apart and fragments would just chip off. It was definitely working 
like overdrive. Because that is a great stone for personal transformation and grounding and psychic protection. Starry Eyes, thank you for the lollipop. Julie, I appreciate you. Thank you. Tire, thank you for the paper crane. Brittany, thanks for following me. It's strange that you're subscribed to me, but you're following me now. That's weird. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Gianna. I appreciate you. You guys are so kind. you all will join me for my YouTube live stream tomorrow night over in Spirit Pond. Thank you, Zombie Mom, for the roses. Thank you, Elmer, for the roses. Appreciate you both. If you haven't had a chance, I encourage you guys, please check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio, and it's called Spirit Pond. I'll be doing a really special Reiki live stream healing tomorrow night there. 9 p.m. Eastern. Thank you, Jen. Thank you, Suncumber. <laughs> you guys are wonderful. Kimmy, thank you for the finger hearts. Much love. I'll absolutely throw out a reminder at the end of the live stream. Absolutely. But basically it is at the same time that we do the TikTok lives. It's just going to be on YouTube instead of TikTok. Kimmy, thank you for the 37 cat paws. That's, if I do my math correctly, that is... be 36... Nine, <laughs> about nine cats, one of one of whom has an extra paw. I think I did that right, nine times four. Math is not my strong suit. Thank you, Kimmy, for the paper crane. Oh, pulling my hair again. and Reiki. Can you imagine such a thing? <laughs> Certainly there is mathematics and everything as much as there is sacred geometry. But uh, math was never my strong suit. Nope. just made me think of those word problems from when I was a kid where it's like you have uh, four chickens, seven ducks, eight cats, three cows, a frog, a couple of fish. How many legs are there? You have to sit there and like count them all out. be there sweating my math assignment homework thinking to myself well does the frog's arms count as legs in this problem or are they arms should I count them will I get it wrong uh. <laughs> oh Jen that's so sweet 
That's really cute. Appreciate that. Cloud Surfer, thank you for the panda. Much love to you. Trouble for days, thank you so much for the rose. <laughs> you feel that in your soul. So many unnecessary things they had us do in math, you know? Like quadratic equations and like graphing stuff, you know? Where it's like I have to use a quadratic formula to figure out like the slope of a line. And it's like, for what reason? For what reason did we have to learn that? Tiger Lily, you're a special education teacher now. Well, that's really cool. But I often wonder, you know, as an adult, like a lot of the things that we had to go through in school that we've like never used, nothing practical. <laughs> Thank you, Trouble for Days, for the enjoy music. Much love. Thank you, little Jen Lee, for the butterfly. Gianna, you're in accounting and you're not good at math. <laughs> you gotta have some math skill, I imagine. so cute pancake waffles your daughter finished her, her dinner and she said all done <laughs> no that's so cool thank you for sharing that that's really sweet my kid is uh, Sammy the cat who is laying on the bed. Maybe I'll bring her out after the session. You guys can say hello to her. That's my kid. so cool the other two kids are pancake and waffles I love that I love hearing cat names <laughs> that's so cool by the way Gianna how are Raja and Binks doing and yeah if I was gonna design the school curriculum I would design more more practical things like you know building things gardening more emphasis on cooking and like growing food and things like that you know I feel like that's more important at least to me you know Thank you for the rose. Appreciate you very much. Starry eyes, thank you so much for the subscription. Much love to you. I am so, so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I would have loved to learn how to build a home in school too. It would be very more useful than solving the slope of a line. A little rambunctious. <laughs> I love that word. Forty-two. Yes.
Thank you, starry eyes. Bring out our 528 hertz frequency again for us to listen to. We're just gonna let that soak into our cells for a few minutes. Generally, you have two cats, Stephen and Shiloh. That is so cool. I love those names, Stephen and Shiloh. I'm gonna have to do my best to remember all these cat names. TikTok shut off on you. Oh no. Sorry. are pretty awesome. Very spiritual animals. Very in tune with the subtle world. It was often said that they leave their bodies at will and travel the astral realms. They certainly protect us in the astral realms. They see things that others cannot. One inside the rust outside. We live on 40 acres. Uh, pretty, plenty of room to play. 40 acres. That's incredible. Wow. That is so cool. No, I've never met a bad Steven either. Come to think of it. All the Stevens I met were pretty friendly. All the Stevens I met were like the life of the party. All very down to earth, easy going folks. Those Stevens. Your cousin's name was Steven. Wow. I did once know someone whose name was Steven, but it was spelled. S-T-E-P-H-E-N, they pronounced it Stefan. But yeah, cats are just really, really in tune. They really are amazing little creatures. I've also heard that cats are like descendants of the Lyra people, cat-like beings who came from the Lyra constellation. I don't really know how I feel about all of that, but it's very something, something very interesting to ponder. Little Jenny has four dogs too. Wow. Call your daughter the cat hoarder. I thank you, Jen. I do love Onx very much. So it's a dog hoarder and a chicken hoarder. Oh, chickens are really sweet animals too. I would love to have like a little pet chicken. Just be a nice little friend. If it was up to me, honestly, I think I'd have, you know, a little pet chicken, a little goat, a raccoon, maybe a possum, maybe a rat. Just like a whole, what I like to call a Dr. Doolittle situation. Yeah, animal 
ones are the greatest. So sweet. A chicken named Daffodil. Your son is transgender and he literally has a ton of animals, including lizards. That's amazing. My cousin had a whole bunch of lizards as well. He passed away like several years ago, but he was a really cool guy. I've heard great things about rats as pets, yeah. <laughs> They're very sweet little animals. Highly intelligent. Very, very in touch with their emotional side. So sweet. Did Allie come in? Hey, Allie, welcome. So good to see you. Fine, starry eyes. If you drift off, the healing will go exactly where it needs to go, whether you're awake or asleep. And I love giving myself Reiki as a means of falling asleep. And I often fall asleep while giving myself Reiki. <laughs> Usually, lay like a hand on my chest and one of my solar plexus. I start channeling and tuning into the flow of energy and before I know it, I'm drifting right off. Generally, you're supposed to lay there and relax, but you can really do whatever you feel called to do because Reiki and sound baths, that frequency healing, tend to stir up energy for us to release or transmute or alchemize. It's totally natural if you want to get up and move around or dance or find some other way to ground that energy because it does and can stir up a lot of energy. So... Don't feel bad if you feel called to move around. Any type of release is totally fine and natural. Journaling too. Journaling is highly encouraged throughout your healing process. Dream journaling. Journaling during or after a healing, just whatever comes up. I know, Allie, we got so many new subscribers tonight. It's so exciting. I'm so grateful. Thank you, little Jenny, for the flowers. Thank you, Chrissy Bell, for the mirror. Appreciate you guys so much.
Viva La Teresa. Thank you so much for the paper crane. Appreciate you. Now, as we start to wind down, I am going to light a little bit of this sacred Palo Santo just so we can clear the energy and clear the vibes to help us release any energy that we can let go of, kind of cleanse and purify ourselves and our space. smoke wash over us for a few moments. Allie, thank you for the hundred roses. That is a ton, a ton of roses. And yeah, Kimmy, um, I was actually going to host the live on my channel with Richard joining. I have to make sure it's still on. That's a good thing to mention, guys, is that Richard and I have been planning doing another live acoustic concert this Saturday, right here. Um, the time is to be determined, but more than likely going to have that Saturday. I just have to confirm it with him, and he hasn't texted me back yet today, so I think he might still be at work, and he's on West Coast time. Thank you so much, Kursma. I hope I said that okay. Pronounced that okay. Thank you for the hand heart. Much love to you. And we're just letting this smoke wash over us. Cleansing our energy, cleansing ourselves, cleansing our space. Letting go of anything that we can let go of at this time. Releasing any anxiety, any anger, any irritation, any worries or fears or sadness we can let go of. This is called Palo Santo. And it is a holy wood. It traditionally comes from Peru. And this Palo Santo is ethically sustainably sourced from fallen trees. And the trees that they harvest this wood from kind of sits in the forest and it sits on the ground and has all this wonderful woody, citrusy, cedar aroma as it ages in the forest. Beautiful stuff. Just gonna close out our session, seal in all our healing with our little my little singing bowl here. So just give a little listen with me, guys, and you place a hand over your heart. Feel this frequency connecting with your heart center, vibrating resonating with this frequency. And feel that love in your heart center if you can. Feel that love and feel it spread outwards throughout your body. Feel it leave your body and feel that love, fill the space that you are in. Touch everything you can see and feel and just know that this love flows throughout all things. This love you create within yourself. This love is all around us and it is within you and it is you.
thank you so much, everyone, for being here with me tonight, for sharing this beautiful energy, for being here, helping me create this wonderful, sacred healing space. You guys are absolutely amazing. Thank you for all the new subscribers tonight, all the gifts, all the new followers. Welcome. I'll be live tomorrow on YouTube at 9 p.m. Eastern doing a Reiki healing over there. So if you haven't already, please check out my YouTube channel. The link is in my bio. It's called Spirit Bond. Thank you again. Make sure you guys drink lots of water. Be gentle with yourselves after this healing. Don't eat too heavy. Get lots of rest. Take a nice shower, bath, and wash away any residual energy that you might be releasing. I love you all. Wish you the sweetest, most pleasant of dreams. And have a wonderful rest of your night. Bye for now. Oh, wait. What am I doing? I forgot to get Sammy. All right, we're going to get Sammy real quick. False alarm. Sammy. Say hi to the people. This is Sammy. In case you guys haven't met her before, this is her. She kind of oversees all the all the Reiki content creation and the live streams. You know, she just kind of like the overseer, right? You know, she's like kind of like my boss, makes sure that the vibes are all all good and clear. Do you want to go back to bed now? Do you want to go back to sleep? Oh, she's great. Yeah, she's got this lovely little collar. Little spring collar. I don't think she wants me to show it. She wants me to put her down. You want me to put you down? You want to leave? All right, now I'm really signing off. I love you guys again. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great night. See you tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Spirit Pond YouTube channel. Good night, everyone.